Welcome to Ultimate Orlando Clicks. I'm sorry it's been a few weeks, but life sort of has gotten in the way and we haven't been able to make it to the parks quite as often as we had wanted to. We've been in there taking some pictures, but there wasn't really time to assemble an update until now. So a few of these photos are a little bit out of date by this point. You've heard about them in other places, but we're going to cover them nevertheless. I'm going to start over in Legoland, Florida, where as you can see, the hotel is under construction next to Legoland, and they're promising a little bit of a blueprint design and some themed rooms inside. Legoland was in the throes of Halloween when we last visited, so they call theirs Brick or Treat, and as you can see, it's a play, of course, on Trick or Treat, and you get free candy as you make your way around these booths. It's all free and included, and in that sense, it's like the SeaWorld uh, Trick or Treat uh, included activity. Island Supply Company, this shop in Adventureland and Magic Kingdom, has um, closed, and so we had to take a picture of it recently to show you that it was about to close. Memento Mori, which is the new shop in the uh, Liberty Square area next to the Haunted Mansion, it's really the Haunted Mansion shop, <clears throat> has recently opened. It's been a few weeks now, and you can see there's a lot of Haunted Mansion merchandise. It's um, notable as a store in that it is completely filled to the brim with merchandise specifically from that attraction. Most attractions don't warrant at that level of, of attention. This is an interesting one. There's a guest in this photo here, uh, and then they convert it to be a ghostly version of that guest. It's a lenticular that you can buy, customized to your own face. So they've got just an absolute ton of merchandise that they want uh, people to be purchasing. I'm happy as a clam, really, that there's this much theme park merchandise available, and specifically about the theme park attractions, rather than it being all Mickey Mouse and uh, the Fab Five and so forth, as is usually the case on the merchandise that they sell within the parks. This is an interesting one that seemed uh, a little bit out there, actually. They have... Uh, plans of the Haunted Mansion across different plates, third floor, second floor, first floor, and so forth, as though it was a blueprint. And there's the seance, madam. And then this um, Master Gracie-looking china, all very nice-looking, actually. Back at DHS, the legend of Captain Jack Sparrow has closed. In fact, the view you're seeing here is already gone. This is no longer on the building anymore. Uh, for a little time there, at the very end, they had a, a reservation, paper reservation system going there, but of course this is gone now as well. Now, Wandering Oakens, which used to be held here in the Stage 1 area, um, has moved, and there was a sign out uh, some weeks ago, actually, saying to go in a different direction. Backlot Tour signage is completely gone, and the, they've gotten that, um, <clears throat> that shield down, I guess. And then here we are at the new location for Wandering Oakens Trading Posts. So this is the studio catering company here. And Honey, I Shrunk the Playground at Playset area is over here, and this is the Acme Warehouse. Wandering Oakens is near all of that, and this is what the approach looks like. You can see they've got kind of a snow and cabin feel to the outside of it. Open uh, on a daily basis, of course, because it is a shop. They call the stroller parking sleigh parking, which is a nice little pun. And they've got these Christmas trees set up on your way in, as well as themed trash cans, even though these are kind of like paper on the outside, really or a wrapper, not really paper, but it is a wrapper around the outside, and then a themed doorway entrance here. This is what it looks like as it slides open, and then you see that there is a snow play area immediately. People have been making tiny little play um, snowmen here in the little snow play area. There is no ice skating rink in this one. It's not big enough for that. Um, in fact, there's a long line as it is to build a snowman, and then they have to come out every so often and clean the snow and make it all flat again for the next group of folks to come on out. Now they still do have the uh, photo pass areas and the places where you can take a picture and have it be animated by Orasma. This is what they're selling within that snow area. You can see that they've got some specialty cupcakes as well as drinks and other snacks available for purchase. And then the trading post itself is through this doorway into what used to be the um, shop that had studio stuff. Uh, obviously, all of that has been changed out. It's completely different looking. I like that they kept the sauna concept as a backstage door, something a little bit of a nod to the movie itself. Uh, but it is just a, a store now with a lot of frozen items. And you can see that it's um, pretty wide open, actually, compared to what it used to be like as the exit before. Over to downtown Disney, you'll see that they've got um, somewhat new-looking designs for their trash cans. So this two-colored trash can scheme here is new for me, anyway probably some design ethic for Disney Springs. 
This fountain has been there for a few weeks now. I haven't taken a photo of it before, and this bridge is going along really um, pretty advanced. It looks like a fake suspension bridge and so forth. Uh, this is the area next to the Fulton's Crab House and connecting over to Rainforest Cafe. And here's a wider angle view of it, and you can see this in front of Little Mismatch is where they used to have that pier and dock area. And over to the right from there, even further, they're building something of a stage over here. There is a Meet Santa set up outside of World of Disney. Over to City Walk, where the Cowfish Sushi, sushi bar, Burger, and I think it's called the Cowfish um, Sushi Bar, uh, uh, or Burger Bar, is now open. And here's a sampling of the menu, not the complete menu. Uh, such I wanted to sh capture the um, specialties for you because they show off the fusion nature of uh, the food that they're selling there. So it's Asian and American, or fine dining in French and um, Japanese, let's say. In the meantime, the NASCAR sports grill has closed. The car has gone from out front, and I haven't heard yet what's going in its place. Briefly back over to the downtown Disney area. This is the entrance to Typhoon Lagoon. So there's doing some street widening here, and that's been going on for some months. But um, what is new is that all of that entrance area is completely gone. That little um, design element and kind of crow's nest that was here uh, as a, a weenie at the outside of the um, the driveway is all missing. It's actually laid over on the side of the ground over here, so I don't know if it's returning. Obviously, Typhoon Lagoon is under its annual refurbishment at the moment. And just across the street from there, the parking garage is getting closer and closer to finish looking. That'll be nice when it's finally done. Time for our game, where Walt Disney World was this. And so the last time out, we had this one, which was uh, the Cappadocia region of Food and Wine Festival. And then this is the next one that I wanted to offer to you. Uh, and as always, I give you no commentary. You let me know in the comments where you think um, we're in Walt Disney World this was, and we'll see you the next week if you were right. That does it for us this time. We won't be such a stranger from now on, but it might be uh, another... Well, we should have one next week. Actually, there's several things coming up now for the Christmas season that we want to get you updated on. So thanks for sticking with us, and we will see you soon. We're sorry. We cannot end this update until you say you are satisfied with your update. Are you satisfied with your update?